what's up got a new video today uh, this is something I'm really excited about uh, it's called the Aper Smart uh, Aper, Iper, I'm not real sure how to pronounce it um, it's a completely wireless battery operated uh, rechargeable uh, pool cleaning robot um, I have used it a couple times already, uh, but I don't like to make videos on things that aren't any good, so unless people say they're good and they're not. Um, so I wanted to actually have experience with it before I made the video. So just wanted to show you a little bit about it and show you how it works. Uh, we had a little storm last night, so the pool's not terribly dirty, but you can see. We do have uh, quite a few worms and some small debris in there and whatnot. Uh, but here's the robot. It's four-wheel drive. Uh, it's got your scrubbers on the front. Um, one suction on the bottom. Uh, my pool is a 16 by 32. Three foot in the shallow end and eight foot in the deep end. And this thing is super, super simple to operate. Um, you know, there's really nothing to it. Uh, you've got a charging port, waterproof charging port. That's, uh, you just pull this plug out. It's tethered there, charge it up. It takes about five hours to charge and it will run for an hour and a half, 90 minutes runtime. And that's basically the time it needs for its cleaning cycle for, for this pool anyways, seems to do a really good job in, in that amount of time. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. We're gonna go ahead and put it in. Um, all you do is turn this switch on right here to on. Lights up. Drop it in the pool. Make sure the air gets gets out of it. You'll hear it bubbling around. And then you're just gonna drop it in. And it's gonna fall. It takes about 20 seconds for it to uh, actually start its cleaning mode. does have uh, this thing climbs the walls it uh, it has the whole water line scrubber uh, and it does a really good job you can see it's got it's, it's I guess we'll call it its exhaust port on the top so it's sometimes especially in the shallow end it's a little difficult to see um, through the water because it stirs it up and it's off um, so it'll run for like I said, right at an hour and a half. And I'll leave it on here. Of course, we've just now opened the pool, just now got the water balanced uh, and ready to go. Um, still got some cleanup to do around. Um, I did vacuum the pool uh, the first couple of times. Uh, as you can see, we're in the woods. I don't know if you can see, we got a pretty intense uh, tree canopy uh, so we do get a lot of sticks and bugs and all kinds of uh, good stuff so when the pool covers on the fine uh, silt does pass through and we get a pretty nasty pool uh, when we open it up but we're gonna let this run a couple minutes and I'll come back um, So I think it's supposed to, the uh, initial route is to supposedly to map the bottom of the pool. 
um, and it cleans as it does that and then it's going to uh, start its I think that's the first few minutes after it does that it's going to uh, start the wall cleaning and uh, scrubbing process um, as you can see I mean it just uh, it works um, now there are the other cordless wireless whatever you want to call it uh, that have no no cord attached whatsoever uh, there's a few others on the market and some a little cheaper but they don't do the the wall climbing function so basically those are made for flat bottom pools um, this was the only one that I saw that was completely wireless or cordless however you want to call it um, that that does actually climb the walls uh, we may be about to see him start climbing the walls now um, he's gonna drop down but just a very cool uh, you know if you if you own a pool this is uh, typically the worst part of it is, is keeping them clean as you can see my hose uh, laid out over there uh, I used it the first uh, couple cleanings and then um, decided on on this pool robot and we have had uh, the suction tops before uh, and some of them work and some of them work better than others but it's still a hassle you still got the cord um, throughout the throughout the pool when you're trying to uh, there is this the scrubbing I don't know if we'll be able to zoom in on that or not uh, I'll take you over there and let you see that it comes back up so this one has uh, this one had the largest um, battery as well as far as the other ones that I'd seen uh, 8600 milliamp hour battery it runs it for an hour and a half and I have timed it um, so that was the other thing I was concerned with was the actual uh, you know these sloped sides on this pool uh, it says it will do the sides, but still wasn't sure about the slope. It does, you can see, I haven't got my cover put up yet, but um, we do have the steps in over there, and it will kind of gets hung up on the steps. It figures it out after, you know, 20 seconds. Uh, it's not it's something that I have to help with, but it doesn't clean the steps. Here we can see, and there's the guy scrubbing this water line so you can see I'm going to show you um, now I didn't have the water level as high before so you can see where that line is uh, that's where the water was had filled up over the winter and then you can see right here where it's actually scrubbed clean uh, so the reason that didn't uh, the reason that line's still there is because I hadn't I'd just from backwashing the pool and and whatnot um, it had drained it down before we actually cleaned that but so this will be the first run of actually cleaning that uh, I guess more sedentary um, scum line water line whatever you want to call it um, but man, this thing is uh, so far. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and it works. That's the that's the main thing. <laughs> so you can see it crawls crossways across, and let's see, it cleans the corners. Um, so 
really good um, item so far. Uh, like I said, I'm out here making a video and drinking coffee rather than uh, starting my morning off with uh, getting the hose all set up and spending the next hour and a half out here vacuuming, uh, trying to get this out. But once it's done, uh, like I said, it'll run for an hour and a half. And that's about how much, like I said, with this pool, 16 by 32, with the eight foot deep end and a slope to the uh, three foot shallow end. It takes that amount of time. We'll see if coming across this pile of dirt right here. I'm not sure if we can see him grabbing that up. Um, I think we're about to, probably gonna climb the wall right here and maybe get pushed off with this jet. I don't know if he's gonna miss it. Oh, yeah. Looks like I needed to bring the water level up a little higher uh, for it to be able to clean that stuff that's completely on there. Um, but yeah, takes uh, takes about the full hour and a half, and uh, when it's done, the pool's clean. Um, and I'll I'll uh, after it's done, I'll show you the basket and how it uh, opens up and the actual all the goodies that it's cleaned up for us. So. As we sit here and just want to show you the kind of the cycles that it's it's going through. So it's still doing the wall cleaning uh, and water line cleaning, uh, but just also wanted to point out. You know, it's not the cheapest one out there, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, it's probably make it. Oh yeah, it's just gonna miss it. Um, you know, it, it is relatively cheap for what it is. Um, some of the, you know, even the powered ones uh, can get on up to two thousand uh, dollars. This one was off of Amazon, it's on sale. So I think the regular price is about uh, $1,800 or $1,600 maybe. Um, so I think it's on sale right now for $8.99. And if you are lucky enough, there was a coupon attached when I bought this one uh, for I think $200 off. I checked it this morning and the coupon now is $130. Uh, so if you're thinking about getting one of these, uh, you may can save some money if you do it sooner than later. Uh, but I've been been very pleased. And of course, I mean, it doesn't spot clean as, you know, it's not going to, uh, it doesn't search out for the dirt or anything like that. So it needs to run its full course to get the entire pool. But it's one of those things you can just leave. Um, and it will, uh, it comes back to the wall when it's done. You've got a little hook attachment for your pole. Get knocked off by the pool jet again. Just a really handy. And I realize this may be a little boring uh, for some people, but if you're really considering purchasing this, uh, I think really you want to see as much of the product as you can just to see how it works, uh, not just to take my opinion on it. Um, I 
actually hear it scrubbing the vinyl. Uh, there was some, there was con concerns on some of the reviews uh, about uh, the drain. Uh, some uh, some pool drains causing an issue. Uh, and maybe the robot getting stuck on it. I haven't had that issue. I don't know. That's about a about a I don't know a eight ten inch drain down at the bottom of the pool. There's a it comes with a couple of foam pads or something. I think you're supposed to if you have an issue that. Uh, you can put on the bottom to help out with that, um, but it hasn't been an issue for me. Um, power cable is kind of short. If I had any complaints so far, that would be the only thing. I mean, it's got to be pretty close to the wall. I think it's about four feet or whatnot. Um, unit's kind of heavy. I mean, it's not uh, it's not unmanageably heavy, um, but, you know, it is self-contained with the battery and I guess I need to pop this up so we can still see him at work. Um, The, as far as reviews go, there's also a negative, some negative reviews on, you know, the, the thing just wheeling uh, on the bottom, just riding around and wheeling. I've seen that a couple of times, um, but but not has not been an issue. Um, you know, with, with all the slopes and whatnot, I think there is sometimes it'll kind of get on the wrong angle um, but I mean it cleans the pool so I mean that's the ultimate goal is no cords to fool with now we've not swam in the pool with it yet um, I don't know that we will honestly you don't have to like I said just come out and uh, grab your grab your morning coffee drop it in the pool and you know basically watch somebody else clean the pool i don't know if you've ever been on if you've ever been on vacation and, and you have a pool and you get, go to the beach or something where they they have a swimming pool and you know first thing early in the morning uh you know they got the folks out cleaning the pool and when you're at home that's that's who you are <laughs> as a pool owner you're spending your mornings um cleaning the pool getting it ready each day uh, so it's just kind of nice to sit back with your coffee and uh, just watch that pool cleaning happen uh, and know that um, you're not the one having to do it so I'm I've been very pleased so far Another reason why I chose this one, uh, just watching uh, the basket capacity, and I'll show you that when I clean it out after it's done with its cycle. Uh, it has a, a very large basket that is very uh, easy to clean. Uh, a lot of the, uh, some of the other ones have, you know, two different filter baskets and uh, seem kind of small or don't have a really a basket at all. You kind of have to take the thing apart. Uh, to clean it and it's like a tray type thing. This is an actual basket with a little handle that pulls out one really one hand to open um, A lot of things I do like like about this one versus versus some of the other ones on the market um, It doesn't it doesn't have any kind of remote control or Wi-Fi enabled um, You know, so you can't spot clean with it it just has to clean the whole pool um, if anything that might be uh, something I wish it had the option for uh, just 
because you know, I mean, sometimes you may not want to clean the whole pool. You just want to run it down to the deep end and get some of the uh, bugs out. Check out this water line here. So you can see here's the non-clean part, clean part. And it doesn't uh, scrub the, I left some, uh, you know, some of the scummy residue or whatever in the corners, not necessarily on purpose, just uh, even with the vacuum, sometimes that stuff's hard to get and you have to brush it. Um, so I wanted to see how well this would do with that. It's not um, any. It's not comparable to brushing brushing it yourself, um, or it hasn't been on the first uh, couple of cycles that I've ran with this thing. I wound up going back last night and uh, brushing down some of the corners. Um, but like I said, not a big deal. Either. I think that's more of the contour. Um, I think if it were a uh, not not sloped, I think sometimes it gets a little confused with the with the slope in the corners that it thinks it's climbing directly up the wall, and it's really just going up the slope. But like I said, an hour and a half, everything's clean but the uh, but the pulse, the uh, steps over here. So with the charging, like I said, it takes about five hours, uh, right at five hours to charge completely. Uh, it's got a red light on the charger. Now the, the actual robot doesn't have any kind of uh, light that comes on while it's charging. It's just the actual charger. There's a red light when it's charging. As soon as you plug it up, the red light comes on. And then when it's done charging, a green light comes on. It takes right at five hours. Um, so what I've been doing is uh, basically getting, letting this run a couple times a day. It will, uh, I'll run it in the morning and then usually in the evening. With this, or that's my plan anyways. Uh, that's what, what I did yesterday. And as far as setup, I mean, the thing comes completely intact. Uh, there's not a not a thing you have to do uh, to put it together, other than uh, take the charging cable out of the bag and and plug it up and let it initially charge. It does have a the blue light. I think that's blue on the front. Can't see it all that well, but at night you can see it really well. That's uh, flashing while it's working. Um, once it's done with its cycle, it will um, sense that the battery is getting low, and it comes to the side of the pool on the bottom. Uh, and then the light turns green or yellow. I don't remember which color that was. Uh, and it just sits there until somebody takes it out. And there's a, uh, you just basically put your hook on the end of your pole here. Okay, there's the hook on the end of your pole. And then, see there it is going over the drain no issue at all and then uh, just stick the hook into the handle pull it up and I don't pull it all the way out of the pool I pull it up just to where I can grab the handle with my actual hand because it is filled with water at that point so it's pretty heavy uh, so you just kind of 
pull it up and, and let it drain. And then it becomes a little lighter to pull up. But as far as the build, I mean, that's the only time I really see the plastic kind of getting stressed is when you're just initially pulling out of the water with the uh, with all that excess water in it. Uh, you can kind of feel some flex in the plastic. Uh, but everything else seems uh, really high quality. Like I said, the, for the money and the function, this has been my pick. And I looked at a couple of others, the, the power options with the Wi-Fi, and, and those things are awesome. Um, but it's going to cost you, you know, two to three times more as than this unit um, and you've still got the cord to deal with um, so I know they've got swivel cords now and maybe I have not personally used one of those so can't really speak for it but it's still a cord you have to uh, at least um, gather up and store this one can just sit out on the deck uh, right by an outlet and charge and Whenever it's time to run it, you know, drop it in the pool, turn the switch on, or turn the switch on, drop it in the pool, and away it goes. Here's the fantastic thing about this. I'm gonna go inside and refill my coffee while you guys stay out here and clean my pool. I really appreciate you. Back with the coffee. And I've stood out this for uh, for its first cycle. The first time I ran it, I stayed out here with it pretty much the entire time. Um, just concerned if it, if it was going to get hung up or you know how it was going to perform. Uh, and it's really uh, no issues. So I'm, I'm extremely confident of leaving it running. Uh, you know, unattended. See, now it's going to get into the shallow end, and you can see the, I call it the exhaust. Um, it's where it's pumping the water through. Now that spot it went over just right there on the right side wheels is a stain, so uh, not something it's going to be able to to get up. And also the good thing about this is, um, you know, once I get my, my water levels are just about uh, perfect now. So I actually plan on uh, turning off the pump, only running it, um, you know, maybe for an hour or two a day. But I can still clean the pool um, with, with this robot and not have to run the pump. I think my pump uh, pulls about seven and a half amp hour draw. 
So it can be taxing on the on the utility bill. Um, so I think this is a just another added bonus. Uh, typically, you have to run that pool filter nonstop um, when you're cleaning. Whoa, the sun's out enough for this the solar fountain. <laughs> so this is one of those uh, solar powered pumps or whatever. Uh, I've got the panel sitting on a insert from a different float. Um, it has a that thing has a fifteen hundred milliamp power battery in it. Um, just something we were playing around with. As you can see, there's, there's it. Um, interesting. It's got a really long cord um, and really works in low light. I mean, you can see this is, I don't know what you can tell on the screen, but like I said, it's been storming, it's cloudy. It's about uh, 8.30 this morning. Uh, so we barely have any sun at all. And it's, uh, starting to do a little work. So, and I don't know if you guys are experiencing the chlorine shortage. <laughs> what is that all about? Um, you know, the, the three inch tablets, uh, if you buy them online, I think they're <laughs> I've seen some listings for $13 each. Uh, typically those are, what, eight ounces, um, half a pound. So $26 a pound if you buy them individually. Um, I was fortunate enough to, after searching for about a week, um, we have to wait till pretty late to open the pool here uh, with all these oaks around here, uh, the little buds that the oaks drop off or whatever they are, are insane around here. Uh, you gotta let them drop and then uh, really let them kind of rot for a, a week or so before you can even do anything with them. Um, they get hung up on everything, they're thick and you probably see some of them laying around. Um, but so I was a little late to the game in, in getting my pool chemicals so the chlorine shortage had been in full effect uh, but I was fortunate enough to be cruising through Walmart one day the listing I actually pulled it up you know you can tell what's in stock at your local Walmart or even the, the ones around you I've got three or four fairly close to me um, so I'd been watching, drove to several of them uh, with stock was unknown. Of course, I get there and they 
they didn't have any um, so I got uh, I got on there on the app and searching and then they it showed that they had uh, some in stock some of the uh, uh, like a 25 pound of the Clorox uh, I don't know if it was active 99 or four in one I think it was the four in one they showed in stock well when I got there I left immediately um, when I got there there was none but they did have some of the uh, great value brand uh, 25 pound tubs or, or buckets or five pound Are they five pound Yeah, they're five pound. I'm sorry. So, uh, and I think they were they were twenty six dollars. Uh, so that was a pretty good deal. That's uh, ten tablets, about two dollars and sixty cents each, versus trying to buy them online for ridiculously jacked up amounts. Um, but at, at our Walmart, you can only buy two, if anything of bulk and by bulk, meaning five pounds or more, uh, you can only get, you're limited to two. Uh, so I was able to get two of those. Uh, you can buy all the single bags of shock, um, that you want. They don't have a limit on that. Um, so we finally got our, got all of our chemicals we got our water balanced now just doing some final cleaning gotta get the uh, pool cover up if you haven't watched that pool cover video uh, of mine I, I highly suggest you you watch it if you're looking for a replacement cover this is our third uh, season with this cover and I think I gave $3.99 for it I'm not sure. I haven't looked to, to see if they're still available at that price. Uh, but what a value that was. It's been a great cover. Uh, it's still lasting. No signs of, really no signs of wear or stress on it at all. Um, so check out that video on my channel. And like I said, I know this, I know this video is going to be long, but I really just wanted to give you a true representation of this cleaner and how it works. Um, like I said, it's going, it's going to take the, in this size pool, I think it says it, uh, I'm not sure if it says it's good for up to 50 feet long pools. I think that's what it says. Um, and I'm not sure of the uh of the function in that like i said this is a 16 by 32 um and it pretty much takes the full cycle to completely clean the pool um i'm not exactly sure what kind of technology you know it says it's it's got gyroscopes and or accelerometers and um several different technologies in it I'm not certain as far as uh, you know it's supposed to be a smart functioning robot that kind of maps out your pool uh, I don't know that that's exactly what it does as much as it's got I think it's got different functions as far as uh, cleaning the bottom function and cleaning the sides function um, as you'll see hopefully it's going to get into the corner there and start to get some of that debris in the corner that should be a
So I think right now it's on bottom cleaning mode because as soon as it senses the the incline, uh, and this is what I was worried about, um, is this slope. If it was going to sense this slope as an incline as far as a pool wall, uh, which it doesn't, or I haven't seen it. Um, now when it gets to the edges and it's a steeper angle, it, um, it will back up but it does climb the, I was worried about it just wanting to clean the bottom and not make it to the shallow end of the pool because of the, the uh, gradual slope up to the shallow end. But as you can see, it does uh, just fine with that. So just another thing to point out as far as the actual function and effectiveness. So I'm going to let it run, uh, and then I'll come back on the when it finishes up its cycle, let you see the pool, what it's done, and then we'll take it out and I'll show you the cleaning, uh, the basket, everything, the filter basket, everything that it's picked up, uh, how we'll clean it, and then take it back to charge so you can see that process. So there you go. It's finished its cleaning cycle. Uh, the color has changed to whatever color that light is, green or yellow. Uh, so I'm, now I'm going to get the hook. This hook fits, you know, your standard uh, pool. Pretty basic uh, thing. So, reach down here and said the hook just goes in the the same handle that you pick it up with your hand. So latch on to it, pull it up, and you'll notice it did come to the side right there, so it's easier to get to. So I pull it up to about right here, and then. Hooking out. Slowly pull it up and let it drain that water. As you see, some of the others, when you pull them out, some of the debris flows back into the pool. This one uh, captures everything. So we'll turn it over this way and I'll let you see. So you open this up. Pull your basket out, and there you go. It's all self-contained in there. You can see what we picked up. Uh, a bunch of fine stuff, and some worms, and centipedes. Uh, so I'm just going to take this over. And you can see the rest of the pool did a really good job. Uh, I was out here, took a little longer to get back out here than I thought. Uh, couple worms still on the bottom I'm not sure if those are those could be new though um, they have crawled in while I was gone I'm gonna take this over to the water hose and show you how easy this thing cleans up because that's another thing I was somewhat concerned with Spray it out. You don't have to get your hands dirty. Just rinse it out. Rinse it out really nicely. You can go from the outside. You can see all this fine debris. That's not real good. Side and I 
There you go. It's clean. Put it back on. Turn the water off. I'll take this back. Put the basket back in. Simple. Close it up. Turn the unit off. And now I'm going to carry it back over here. Like I said this was the only issue I have. I just got it sitting in this chair for the moment. Is the uh, so take your waterproof plug out and then your charging cord that's only probably I don't know, three or four feet long so and then plug it up you can see the light turns red and it'll take about uh, five hours to recharge and it'll be ready for another cycle so let me see what you guys think got another unit that you guys really enjoy let me know about that too uh, but I think I'll definitely be keeping this one um, it's, it's worked as it's supposed to thanks for watching